Okay. We're good now. Okay, we're back. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> and, um, and I took a sip of this coffee and I went, would you want to take a sip of it? Probably not. You'd say, I have to, they're paying me. But I'm not going to like it. So you're not going to have a, a true evaluation. We use the booze to separate people uh, so that one panel cannot not affect another. I used to have a panelist who would, uh, after he was done, he would slide his chair back. They all have wheels in their chairs. And we could hear on the other side, he'd slide his wheels back. And he would do that because he needed to look at the other panelists and kind of, he would give them his perception through a mutual suggestion. And we had to, I'd say, Curtis, stay in the booth, stay in the booth. Um, but we do do some testing where they're not in the booth and we had to work with them and help them to understand that they can't be expressive and, and give any ideas about them. One thing that we deal with is lack of motivation. Our panelists are gonna take a three week break uh, over Christmas, because if they work during Christmas, guess what? They're grouchy. They don't want to be here. They have lots of things going on. We try to give them a break in uh, the beginning of summer because we want them to be excited about coming in. Uh, we want them to put forth their maximum effort. Uh, we have to do things that will help motivate them. Some ways of doing that is, uh, is to return results. My panels every panel I've ever worked with is a little bit different, but my panelists here, uh, they, they don't work because they're getting rich. We don't pay them that much. They do it because they like to be involved in something. They like each other, uh, and they're contributing to the student's education. So if I need them to work double shifts on a couple of days to get a project done before Christmas, it's better for the student to go in and ask than for me. Because if I go in, I'm the main Dr. Miller, right? Oh, I should want this. But if the student, yeah, Dr. Miller won't let me get done. I won't get done unless we do this. And is there any way? Sure, honey. Sure, honey. We'll do it. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. So we try to motivate them, and and um, we and we always stress the importance of what they're doing. Uh, my panelist doesn't like treats. We usually bring uh, have can little candy bars that they can have. Some of them like that, some of them don't. But the most important thing for the panelists here are that they're contributing to the science. The sensory panelists that worked for me when I was doing my dissertation, because I was doing it with the USDA, we were running out of money, and so we were gonna have to stop in the middle and wait until uh, the government decided to pass the budget. So, <clears throat> In September, we weren't gonna be able to evaluate samples and we didn't know when we'd be able to pick up. My panelists volunteered to come in and work without being paid and never being paid to help me finish up my work. That's the kind of loyalty and that was the thing that, that stimulated them. And in my dedication, my dissertation, it uh, is, is dedicated to them as well as some other people. So, also uh, capriciousness versus timidity. Um, some panels are going to have a strong influence and some are going to be uh, a lot um, a lot less uh, capricious but more timid. And I had Curtis and Doris at the same time on my panel. And Curtis was the one who pushed back and was very, very, uh, is a very good panelist. I really still miss him. But he was a colonel in the Army 